Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hello everybody, yes it's with Yai, and welcome back to another video on the Twin Place channel and another video on the Grow a Garden series. This is part four. In the last episode, we talked about how to make a cash UI, and then we talked about the seeds, and all this kind of stuff. In this video, we're going to be specifically talking about making an NPC um, dialogue, you know, the buy and the sell. This is part of the shop and everything like that. Now, um, quick thing, of course, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, I'm so disappointed. But I love you guys, so thank you, who, everyone who is. And uh, yeah, feel free, you know, also subscribing with that, you know, you can catch my lives. I've been doing live streams and making the game, so that's pretty fun. Um, yeah, but yeah, so we're gonna go right into this. Now, first things first, you're just gonna hop into studio. Uh, once you're in studio, uh, you're gonna go in the description and there's gonna be a bunch of links. Now, um, all the links will be in the description. It kind of talks about, uh, you know, the models, the kit and the discord. Now, a few things. Um, so the kit is right here. Uh, if you're watching this series and you're new to it, uh, feel free to just go and hit edit in studio and download. It's, it's just under my name on my profile. Um, download or edit in studio, whatever's easier to you. I recommend doing that if you're new to this uh, series. If you've been watching, just go ahead and go to this uh, Google Drive right here. It's going to look like this, and I'll um, I'll show you this later, of course. But, um, you know, you can do the Google Drive, or if you want, another option. Sorry, I'm just showing you guys all the things. If you do join the Discord, um, I put it all in the uh, Grow a Garden Kit updates. And it's been in here actually since yesterday or a few days ago, so... Um, you know, those who are in my channel, they'll just get those uh, in the Discord. We'll get it automatically. And, of course, I talk to you guys and help you out if you, if you need help. Um, so, we're, we're already on here. Now, I'm going to show you how this works. Um, I want to tell you guys that I know a lot of people are, like, kind of concerned about some of the things. Like, we were talking on my live stream about the whole restock event. I didn't even realize that Grow a Garden is a global event where um, the seeds restock based off of the server. So we're going to go back into the episodes and fix that. But for now, we're going to look at this. Okay, so as you can tell, we have our boy Sam right here with the highlight, which looks great. Um, his head doesn't follow you behind. He just follows you on the right or left. Looking good. So Sam, thanks, man. Then we have our boy Steven over here. Same thing. All great and good. Okay, so... You guys actually should be able to um, hear some of the things. So uh, going and looking at this now, um, one second. Let me... Okay, so I was dripping. It's just my, my game talking. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. So as you can tell, I already have some seeds. That's just because of the last update. Uh, or, well, I actually played it in game, so it accidentally saved my seeds for me. But okay, so when you look at here, uh, Sam, we talked to you. There's a little uh, thing showing you here are the she's shops currently. And boom, pops up the seed shops. Uh, now we can, you know, purchase something. So I'll purchase this for fun. We already had that catch joy in the last video. So very nice. Um, now going over to our boy Steven. Okay, this is taking me way too long. Nick. <laughs> Got anything to sell. Um, so you walk around and it works just great. Um, I will probably have to make a new feature that allows it. So if you do walk away, um, it, it'll just close it out for you. But we'll work on that later. Um, I want to sell my inventory. I want to sell this. How much is this worth? Um, so yeah, and then when you uh, highlight it, it does a little animation for it. But yeah, so let's just say this. I want to see how much is this worth. So um, this blueberry seed is worth $50. So does that, re-enables the prompt, and then does the same thing again. Got anything to sell. And then I'll say, um, you know, I want to sell, uh, let's do first all, I want to sell this. Um, sells the item, gives you 50 bucks. Boom, it worked. Now, um, yeah, it does a little display as well. And then uh, talk to Steven, got anything to sell. You can open this and want to sell my inventory. So I want to sell my inventory. Boom. Uh, you sold your event your crops for $50. Um, so yeah, that's uh that's what it looks like. Uh pretty well made, I think. Um <laughs> uh it shouldn't be doing any any bugs either, because you should be able to talk to these guys, sell them, and do the same thing. Um, but like I said, we'll go back and uh talk about um, you know, how this how this works and later later in the series we're gonna come back and fix some of the things because you know when it comes to uh, the new crops and everything like that. Okay, so um, going off of this, uh, let's go get the model. Uh, I have it in my toolbox, but if you're new, you got the model, should be able to just hit that button right here and it just, you can import it, whatever is easier for you. Um, so once you import it, uh, I have mine right here, so I'm just gonna click okay. Um, it's gonna look like this and uh, you basically can just look at the readme if you want. This uh, kind of just talks about the NPC and stuff. Um, so you can do that if you'd like. 
Um, but yeah, replicated storage. So we're going to put all these into replicated storage. Now, uh, these are the new things we made. The sounds we already have in the thing. Um, so we actually just added typing. But you're good to just drag this all the way into replicated storage and just delete the old folder. So that's easy enough. Um, I already have my stuff in the game, of course. So And then just drag this into replicated. So yeah, we made a cell logic, um, which is basically the module that handles um, selling the, the items and doing that little display. So we, uh, which we'll talk about this in a sec, actually. Uh, we have a dialog GUI, which I'm going to go into, and then a cell GUI, and then we have starter player scripts. So these are the new ones. So I want you to go back into your starter player scripts and just delete all the old ones and import these. So we updated a lot of it. So um, this is where it handles the NPC heads. Uh, we can talk about that in a sec as well. Uh, proximity props. This is the big one. UI effects. I don't remember if we, oh yeah, we did do some of this. So um, we're just going to, uh, you know, leave it the way it is for now. Um, and then shops in characters. So you can drag this and put that folder into your shop. So it should look like this when it's finished. Um, so yeah, when it's finished, it should just look like this. And uh, you should have characters um, buy and sell. Um, okay, so when it comes to customizing these characters, um, it's a little bit of a, a, it might be a little confusing at first, but um, there's a few ways you can do it, okay? Um, of course, we have just the things in here. I want you to keep note that uh, we basically have this human group part, and inside we have an open shop proximity prompt. And the cell one is the same thing, but it's just called uh, cell shop. Now, you can change the names in here if you want. If you go to the object text, you can change the names to whatever name you want, so feel free to go do that if you'd like. Um, but you don't want to rename the open shop or sell shop. Just make sure it's like this. Now, um, you could also, if you want to just completely recreate the characters, uh, feel free to get an avatar plugin. Um, I did make a video on that lately, so you can go check that out if you'd like. Um, there's also the CFS, which is a great, great avatar plugin, um, thing. And like, you know, if I want to just add accessories to them, like I could just do like, I could search up like dope glasses. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> um, insert and then it literally inserts it onto them and then that would be cool you know um but other than that you could also go follow my other videos which teaches you you know you can just delete you can just import asset ids by using a command um and then you can just drag that onto the player um so yeah there's a lot of videos on that so just go watch those if you can um but yeah so just open shop all that talk sam and then uh we let the whole duration be zero so it's instantly but yeah, that's it. We have the characters, buy and sell. Um, and make sure they're in those folders, okay? Just because that's how we programmed it. So going into all the things, um, let's just talk about the other last bit of customizing. Um, if you want to customize your dialogue GUI, so you can just bring this onto a part. Did they change the thing? Tripping. Okay. So hello here. Um, oh, wait, yeah. Here are the C's that are in stock. So this is how I made it. I honestly didn't know really how they made it with the background, so I tried my best. <laughs> um, but this is how it is. If you want to mess around with this, change the background color. Like you can literally do whatever you want. Um, I should have a UI gradient, so that's why it's not changing. Um, but like I said, if you if you really want to mess around with this and like make it something different, uh, feel free to do that. You know, don't don't feel scared to not do that. You know, it's it's not too hard to do. Text label, same thing with this. You can go into here and you can call it like let's say we want to change the the font. You know, you can change it to Fredoka one or something like that. Um, but this is what Girl Garden uses. Um, so then we are going to go, yeah, they definitely changed the UI. I'm like tripping right now. Okay. Then we have the cell GUI, same thing. Um, you can actually just do that as well. We have a frame, we have a UI list layout. Uh, and, um, yeah, so you can just like go in here as well and just mess around with this and, um, you can customize the colors and all that stuff. Don't rename anything cause that's going to break it. Um, and then this, you can, you can also customize. You don't have to worry about, um, but so yeah, feel free to just mess around with that, uh, to your liking. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna put that in there and then sound wise. Yeah, we do have a typing sound So that is the typing sound now if you want to change that feel free to change that and go ahead. It's very simple to do um, Okay, so going into the main portions of scripting. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go back to the cell logic Yes, yeah, so we have cell logic. This is a module where it comes to the selling um, Which we're gonna edit later on but for now we'll leave it the way it is um, UI effects, I think I had you change it just in case because I honestly did a four-hour live stream and I don't remember what I updated um, so yeah, this handles all of the cache stuff as well. Yeah, cache label. So I don't know if we changed anything here, but no worries to worry about that. Proximity prop and NPC handler. So in the NPC handler, um, you can actually change this if you want, but we have a max distance of 50. So 50 studs or whatever. So just, you know, how far the player is from the person, uh, change that to whatever you like. It's up to you. Uh, smoothing that's just based off of like how fast or smooth the head turns. So you can do that if you'd like. Um, but yeah, this just goes, uh, NPC tracker. That's a, it's a little function we make. 
So uh, we check for the NPCs and then we grab their head and yeah, it's just doing a little table here. Um, and then we do uh, run service. So this is where we basically do uh, that whole distance thing. So if the player humor group part is saying yours is, um, you know, less than or equal to the max distance. Uh, well, yeah, so less than the max distance, then, you know, that's where we apply this. And then if not, we just uh, play back to normal. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty simple stuff. Um, proximity prop. This is the whole thing of it. This is how we did the whole script. Um, yeah, so we have a bunch of variables and tables right here, but I'll just go through a bit of this. Um, we have like type text rich. Uh, I had to go through this later because I wanted to make sure that, you know, when it sells, it shows that you got like 50 bucks in green or whatever, which you can talk about later. Um, and then this is the toggle all prompts function. Uh, but this is where we handle the dialogue stuff. So, you know, when it comes to NPC, we're using that function and we are doing the NPC and we are grabbing that GUI and cloning it and setting it to the parent of that model. Um, and then that's where we kind of go through that. And then this is the dialogue player. So we do the dialogue for the player where it goes above their head. Um, and then this is a function that hides all dialogues. Um, so basically what we use later on. And then we have an add hover effect. This is the hover effect for the buttons, uh, the shop GUI. Um, so that just does that little animation when you hover over them. And then we have a highlight model. This is also just for highlighting the people, NPCs. If you want to change the color, feel free to. Um, you can also set this to zero if you want to make it so it's like their whole body is just white. Um, so do that if you like. Now, um, this is proximity prompt service. So if the prompt is shown, then we're going to do the highlight. So that's kind of what we're doing. If it's hidden, um, then we're going to destroy the highlight. Um, and basically, that's just checking any, pro uh, any prompts. Um, and yeah, model, of course, is what we're looking for and making sure that's a thing. Um, then, yeah, toggle blur. Um, this is kind of with the shop and hide shop. We already worked about this in the last video. Then we have the response. So this is kind of talking about uh, responding after. So you know, when it comes to the dialogue and prompting it to respond with the NPC. Now, um, this is with the billboard setup. So we have to create an anchor part for that because we want it to be anchored to the person, but at a certain part of the world where it just, just displayed. It's displayed and it's flat. So this kind of took me a second to solve. But thank you, Chad. Um, but yeah, we initially call hide cell GUI, so we make sure that when we open the hide cell, it's we, it's already disabled, and we click buttons, we just make sure it's disabled, all those kind of things. Um, going through this, though, yeah, we just run service once again. Um, and then, yeah, GUI cell display, we clone it, so that's where we set the anchors and the GUI, and we enable it. Um, and then the button logic, this is the main button logic, so we'll go through that in a second. Um, hide cell GUI, this is what I was talking about, where we just, uh, you know, disable the GUI and make sure everything's good. Um, and then proximity prompt, um, this is where we do the main thing. So if, uh, when we pr when we trigger any proximity, we just make sure we uh, disable all the prompts, um, just because we want to make sure that, you know, we, no one's able to spam it. But, um, yeah, if it's open shop prompt, so when we are in the character, um, then we're going to do that NPC dialogue, show the shop UI and then toggle all prompts. Um, so we go through that. And then if it's sell shop, we do the NPC dialogue, got anything to sell, and then we do the uh, hide all dialogue, and we do the create sell GUI. So that's with um, going into this whole thing right here where it shows that sell GUI. So button logic wise, um, we have sell inventory, sell item, how much, and cancel. Um, we basically go through, and if they click the button sell inventory, it hides the sell GUI because we want to basically not show it because they click that. We send a dialogue to the player, put their head, it says I want to sell my inventory, and we do a little peep call thing, and we just... Um, you know, sell inventory for the player where we go into the module, which I'll talk about. And then we do a little respond after for the uh, dialogue, um, whether that's with the player and uh, no, that's a, sorry, that's with the NPC. So then, you know, that's where we just make sure uh, it goes through. So like cancel, hide cell GUI dialogue is um, good, never mind. And then we just say goodbye. Um, but right here we do the message, which the message is later found in the uh, cell logic. So with the cell logic, sorry, going back into that, um, basically get held item we have to check if they're holding an item um is sellable crop uh we make sure that it has it's a tool and it has the price in the attribute of uh, it has the attribute of price um so that's what we're going to be mainly using is just seeing what the price is um so honestly i don't even know if we'll need to come back because all the seeds we'll be making and the models will just have the attribute price so you should be okay but um yeah add cash so local stats cash value and then we just add the cash here by grabbing the leader stat um now, uh, kind of with all customizing this stuff, you guys, you just have to know if you change it to different things, you know, like if you change your cash to something else, you're going to have to change the name to these things. So just make sure you follow through with all that. Um, you can even pop all these scripts in the chat and just be like, I want to change this to this. Um, 
So sell logic. This is with all the buttons. So how much? We basically just get handheld of the item. So for the players that they're holding the item, if handheld and is sellable, then we are grabbing that price and then we say this is rich text. So we held held dot name. So the tool name is worth font color price. Um, so perfect. And then yeah, return false. You can only check some of those parts instead. Perfect. So sell item. Now we got to do the held as well. Sellable crop, add cash, price, blah, 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 held, and we destroy their tool. And then sold, blah, 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 held name for that thing. Uh, you must be holding a crop to sell. So going through that. Now sell inventory. Uh, same thing with this. Um, so basically, we're just checking the player's backpack. Uh, we're going to try sell is sellable crop. Total, we're going to add the price, and we're going to destroy that thing and sold that. Okay, now uh, check backpack right here though. This is where we do that function. Okay, so we're gonna grab their backpack and do all of that. But also we gotta check that if they have something equipped because um, what happens is if you don't check that they're holding something, it, like even if you do backpack, um, it basically clarifies that when like if you, if you didn't have this basically, it wouldn't check that the player is holding a tool because that's not part of backpack. So um, right here we have to make sure we check that the the character is not holding an item, and if they are, right here we'll sell that item. And if sold any, uh, we basically, uh, you know, then we just do add cash and return blah, 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 blah. And then try sell. Like I said, it's just going through and making sure that it's not favorited, which also I forgot to mention we are checking if things are favorited. Um, so, you know, that's a good thing to do. Um, we don't need to do that with how much, how sell, all that stuff, because it's not, that's not who would just go up to it and be like, favorite item, be like, I want to sell this. So, um, yeah, you just do it right here where it says sell inventory and we check that it has that favorited attribute, which we're going to later implement with the backpack UI, but yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> it seems like that's it. Um, I hope you guys kind of have a little understanding of how this works. Um, we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff, uh, and I just want you guys to stay tuned. There's so much coming and it's going to take a while, but we'll get through it. Um, but yeah, you guys, if you have any questions, and I actually updated these a bit to look a little bit better like Girl Garden, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them all below. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys join the Discord because that just is where I'll just like, you know, give you guys everything that you need. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll see you guys all later. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.